if you are a Mac user, then you are not so familiar normally with um, unzipping zip files and launching from folders in there. And normally you have an installer, you have a, a native Mac app and things like that. So a very nice Apache NetBeans user, Carl J. Muska, has created a NetBeans Mac OS X bundle. So go to github.com slash Carl J. Muska NetBeans Mac OS bundle. And then here you can clone or download, so you have a zip file. Um, I'm kind of used to a Git at this stage, so prefer that over a zip. Um, you'll end up with an installer, which will set up NetBeans and create a Mac um, application for you. So let's do that. I'm going to go to the command line, and let's say I'm in the downloads folder. I can do a git clone. And in a couple of seconds, I will have the clone. And let's um, go into that NetBeans Mac OS bundle. LS in there. You can see here install.sh. So let's run that. So then a process begins of setting up uh, NetBeans via this installer, so I don't need to know anything about unzipping and, and things like that. And at the end of this process, we will actually have a native Mac application that we can start up as we would any other application. So this takes a couple of seconds to, uh, to do. So you can see the time left here is about 30 seconds. And at the end of that, we will start the process where the jars will be downloaded and so on. And the background process begins to set NetBeans up. And five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Password, because the sudo tool is used, needs to be provided. And here we go. Jars downloaded and put into the right place. And you can see also that there's a reference here to applications. And so let's go and take a look. I go to uh, applications and in here I have NetBeans. In addition to 8.2, which I had already, now I have NetBeans 9. And with this, I can start up NetBeans. Now NetBeans starts up as you would expect. Like with any other Mac application, we can see the package contents. And once we do that, we will see that we would we have exactly what you would expect. So here is our installation directory, and here is our um, here are our, our executables, our launchers, which are now launched from that native Mac OS X uh, application. All of this is hidden, but it's good to know that all of this is here, and especially the NetBeans con file. So you might want to configure which um, JDK uh, you want to use, and you can do that in that inside of this file. So here at the end, you will see NetBeans JDK Home. So I'm using the um, Java that's set on, on my system, but I can point to a specific JDK instead, for example. So that's one part of configuration you can do here, but there's a lot more, um, and all the configuration is done in that file. Anyway, what we now have is a um, Mac OS X, a native application for starting up NetBeats.